All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Point Michael. You son oh. of a bitch. <laughs> Not too high, though. I don't want to edit it out. Don't, don't, just, okay. Keep it Man low. Children. Put it like right. right no, there. right That's as high as your hand right can go. There, right, there, right there, right there. This yeah. is perfect. But I'm like I could, gripping it. Yeah, do you guys notice anything different? <laughs> I'm wearing. Sure I'm not wearing a black shirt. I'm not wearing a black shirt. That's what's He's different. He's colorful today. Yeah. But today, you can see we are in uh, South Beach, Miami at the moment. We took a trip. We're on location. <laughs> we flew out to Miami. Uh, how do you feel That's about our trip, Michael? It was pretty crazy. Miami's probably the worst place for me to go to. Oh, no. Yeah. No. We, we, I yeah. will never take my shirt off. Oh, ever. 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 Yeah. You wouldn't I'm want, a we wouldn't put. Guy. We wouldn't wish that upon anybody, Michael. <laughs> we don't want to do that. But yes, look at the space. This yeah, is it's amazing, amazing, beautiful space. What much better than it is? We have to thank my beautiful, wonderful friend Mia for hooking yeah, us up. Yeah. In uh, we are in downtown. We won't give you the geotag. Find out. You know those people who find geotag. You give them a small little glimpse of that something. That's creepy. Yeah, where they can find it. And we're going on a tangent already. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but um, <laughs> there's people out there. You show them like a, a bush outside, and, and then they're it. able to find it. Yeah, they they, they get off on that's it. Like, how oh, scary I figured it. Yeah, it's crazy. Find out where we're at right just from here. Please you can't tell. Please don't. No, and send it. We don't have no fans. What are we worried about? We have like a few fans. Uh, but we are in an awesome, we are in a downtown. I don't know if we brought this up before. We probably did. We live in the San Diego area. We are in the downtown uh, area right now. Um, amazing studio. Um, Mia got this place a while back. And immediately when I walked in, saw first place, I'm like, man, I wish his, I would just hang out here all the damn time. Amazing. Yeah. And the best, I think the, the transition from my room, which is a shitty little room <laughs> where literally Michael and I, are, Michael and I, when we get off that couch, there's just a wall again. So our, we have our to knees are like out. touching. Yeah, slightly. literally. I've never been so close to Michael my entire <laughs> fucking life, but now, it, but in here, there's so much more room and we're not even utilizing the whole thing, but it's awesome that we have this background. This is a hundred times better than my background. It's kind of like, all these I know, pillows? The pillows. Just, we're, yeah, we're saying, should we keep the pillows? Should we take the pillows I think pillows it's just away? like feeding into like my insecurities. I wanted like to start the show like this, just behind all these pillows. <laughs> we'll get stuffed animals and everything, too. Jesus. I think it'd be fantastic. Just going to be laying down? Yeah. Well, I think we're talking about, uh, do you like, would you live in this, would you live in downtown? Uh, no, you this place, know. though. This oh, well, place. this oh, place, absolutely. You, if, yeah. But no, I'm, not, I'm not a big downtown person. Okay. Well, I'm I, not. I think I've talked about, I love it. I love noise. I yeah. love uh, Mia was just talking to us recently about a game and I, I want to play it now too. <laughs> if they see a puddle with her kids, is that, is it, is it water or piss? Or yeah. Piss or water. <laughs> That's an awesome game. Cause down here you don't want to get close enough to really find out and Jesus. smell it. But, but I, uh, I think that covers like every downtown across oh, yeah. the United States. But it, you would probably be, what would you say? Suburban? You're not suburban. No, 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 no. What would you be? I guess you could like, uh, Mm, like a Brooklyn type, like, but that's you, a you fucking still, downtown. No, that's not a downtown. That's you that, still that, have you all still of have, New, all of New York is a fucking downtown. No, it's a borough. It's like a, it's a don't city. A city. A city. On New York, it's yeah. like a. I'm gonna off ask the screen, Mia. What is Brooklyn? <laughs> A Bur- borough, but what would you be? What do you think? It's a city I, or a, like a little a, a cozy little neighborhood? It's a city. Yeah, it's a it's a fucking city. It's got buildings and shit. For, well, we, you should explain this to the uh-huh. audience first. Yeah. Mia just like magically. Oh, no. <laughs> Mia, the best thing here, another side note, we're going to go on a tangent. I'm pretty excited because this actually hyped me up with this whole setup and everything. That picture probably has to stay. That's the best picture. Uh, Maybe we'll change it amazing. out. And if we have any correspondence with our fans or whatever. Focus, focus, they focus. Can, yeah, they can, they can. Yeah, but Mia uh, kind of helping me take the load off. It kind of saw how depressed I was. <laughs> about doing living living in a studio like living in the studio space yeah. i never broke down my lights because if we happen to actually do a podcast i don't want to set everything up i feel so bad that we're moving all her stuff around because it's uh it's a nuisance to put stuff back or intruding in her lifestyle but um we're very thankful for it love I, you to death thank you very I much i would say i would say partner or co-host Co- or producer yeah I, you know th- here mia's personality CEO. is amazing like i it's going to chime in, and I want, because her and I feed off each other, because I'm the annoying little brother, and I think it works well, so I'd want to hear something. certain opinions about me, you know, because Lano time, we need the Lano corner thing. Oh, I, more people to shit on me. I, we need more people to shit on me. Just get the I think counter it's already, or yeah. this way, the counter going. No, you like talk about Lano. I like you shitting on, I, I'm self-deprecating. What was that? Was, that was what like do we got? We got a note? We got a note? Six minutes in. Oh, Brooklyn is one of the five boroughs of New York City. It is also covers the, s- the same area as <laughs> Kings. It's a it's, it's a, borough. a borough. Yeah, it's not a city. So what the fuck is or a not, borough, not, Michael? Downtown. 
And as we're talking, bring up the definition of a burrow. I don't know what that oh, is. God. But again, Mia letting us to space, kind of taking the load and being a producer. We'd love to have a producer because also when we're coming, you, you can already see what we're going off on our tangent and stuff to kind of help us figure out, hey, what's a good topic to talk about and, you know, really keep us in the flow. And timing really is a good thing. Definitely. Me and I, back in the day with one of our good friends, uh, Mark, uh, we had a little podcast, 18 Dexterity, shout out. It was amazing. It was just audio. You, oh, was you, it just you audio? didn't get to see all these beautiful faces on there, but it was just audio. It was before hey, we were ahead of the game. You know, we were before <laughs> Joe Rogan too, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was it was such a good time. But it's awesome having more people to bounce things off, of, more creative absolutely, people. I find, absolutely, for sure. I think it just heightens it, um, takes it to the next level. Yeah, um, and then also we get someone else's opinion, not yeah. just Lano, yeah. Lano. The important <laughs> opinion. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I'm all for it. I think the taking the load off my back, and uh, well, I think ideally the, the the real plan is to get this out more current. Absolutely, like every Absolutely. week get, get things out. Do, get on a schedule. Get on a schedule. It'd be but nice so we can build up an actual. Rapport I feel like we talk people. about that shit every yeah. week. But you know, it's it's just timing. It's like a timing thing. You know, it really it makes a huge fucking difference. Yeah, I think it makes a big difference. Uh, but we could talk about some topics today. I think Michael brought up as we were talking and setting up. You know, you're kind of throwing th- stuff off each other. And uh, Mio brought up the interest. Is anybody interested? We had a conversation with a coworker today. You guys excited for the Super Bowl? And immediately, both of us are the worst guys to talk horrible, about. We're like, horrible. No, we don't like that. We're not sports people. Yeah, I, I, I'm a sports guy and a single sports. And again, thanks to Mio that I am in t- oh, so okay, into okay. this sport so much. Soccer and real football. Football. Yeah. Yeah. We say football. Her and I say football to each other all the time. Wait, so wait, wait, we know what we're talking about. But you did about. tell me. You did tell me in private that soccer was. Created. Well, it wasn't. Yeah, uh, soccer was created. The the word soccer. We have to blame the U- UK for giving us there that word because go. the abbreviation, there was already football, which I think rugby football, and then it became a sock and then cool, hip uh, English kids like to abbreviate or shorten everything. So they called it soccer and then they created the word and even a very prominent show to this very day in the UK is called Soccer AM and they gladly take it on as one of their is words like in the a- shows media tv show or what, what kind yeah of it's show? like a, a morning talk show it's really cool because if you like football and like english premier teams or anybody really it's, i think it mainly focuses on english premier players but yeah oh <laughs> soccer am all right but basically it's like a oh it's gone <laughs> Oh fuck! Well, maybe it was such stuff. It was such a select. Hey, even... go on YouTube and watch some episodes. You might find a footballer you like to watch, oh, and they interview this like. Guy is old. So imagine like the Today Show with people standing in the background at the window and stuff. <laughs> it's like actual football fans hanging out, and they'll bring a popular player on, or maybe a celebrity in in the UK, and they'll you, have them kick you goals. Messed up, man. Top bins. They, I, they try to get like I top. Have they this put two really trash cans. Brand new TV show. It's called Dallas. And oh, oh <laughs> my god! But it's it, the. Mia, when, did, when was this canceled? Ah, uh, oh, fuck. There it is, Soccer AM. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the Bulldog. Yeah, this, the dude right there, he used to play on a team. Back we're actually in the looking day, right? at the host yeah, off. Yeah, we're looking at it. Hey, camera. We'll probably put a picture up here. Eventually, maybe oh. someday we could put live pictures up there. That might be cool, too. But um, yeah, just a back show where you can, you can interview. And the cool thing, the there's terminology in football where if you hit it in the top corner, it's called top bins. They actually put trash cans in the top corner. And if you can hit in the in the trash cans, uh, you get extra points. You, people people win money and stuff too. Oh, okay. It was so, cool. It was a really so it's neat like show. a game show. Yeah, but circling so all the way back, the, the, it's soccer. So, in, it's UK's fault. So the only reason why we were talking about Super Bowl. Yeah, it's like, like real, real just like for most sports, if not you, maybe all sports. Well, no, so we were talking to our coworker about it, but yeah. um, the big thing was I had an interaction with my wife uh, Rosa, and she sports is a big no go with her, but. For some reason, she like was like, "Hey, um, are we gonna watch the Super Bowl?" And I was like, "Red flags just started like popping up." And I was like, "What? What is she talking about?" And I was like, "No, we're not gonna watch the Super Bowl." And she was like, "Well, I kind of want to watch it." She was like, uh, "You know, I think I'm a Chiefs fan." And I'm like, "Wait, what the?" I was freaked you, out. I think I'm a Chiefs. Fan. I was freaked out. Yeah. I was like, "Is she You're gonna like, become a football, football fan?" Head. Yeah. But no, um, it's because of what's his name? Yeah, uh, uh, Travis, Kel- Kelsey. Yeah, Travis Kelsey. Tra- yeah. And who is name. Travis Kelsey's girlfriend? Uh, his uh, his owner is uh, Taylor Swift. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. His owner is Taylor Swift. She's always watching from the top. Like, you get back to the full field. You kick a better. Does he? What does he do? I, I think, think he's, he's a wide receiver. No, Dude, people are I don't think he's so offense. I don't think he's offense at all. So he's really only really famous. No, because I think he's a. I think he's a wide receiver. No, I think no. he's like a tight end. Uh, fact this checking. We can fact check. I think he's he defense like a tight end or in. 
I just know that his brother is a football player too. They have a really cool podcast. Yeah, I've watched. I can't say I shit on the guy. You know, I don't say I dislike the. I don't know enough about it, but uh, he he became popular. He is a tight end. Tight end. Fuck is a tight end? Yeah, tight end. Can someone please explain to us what a tight end is? I don't know. What would a tight end be? (laughs) I think my brother might have been one in high school. (laughs) Sorry, Ian. The tight end. I didn't pay attention there. I was just there for the pot porn and the burgers or whatever. (laughs) And, and and but um he became popular because they were one of the f- I think they were the first ever brothers to play against each other in the Super Bowl. Oh yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah so the one brother being on the Philadelphia Eagles, the other brother being on the Kansas City Chiefs. Like, we're we're, tr- we're grasping right now to try I know. to explain. Yeah, you know the, the <laughs> you know you, you hit a home run in football, right? <laughs> and there's there's two hole in ones. I hear sports and my brain just yeah. automatically shuts the, off. The only time I cared about football and this was when we had the Chargers here and it wasn't I didn't care about the Chargers. I went to one game and I think I was the reason they won. That was the year oh. they went to the Super Bowl. It was t- 1995. And I remember I, my friend's dad just had binoculars, and the entire time I was just staring at the cheerleaders on the field <laughs> the entire time. I was like, didn't yeah. even care. Didn't even care about the game. But I, here's the stupid. I don't know nothing about football. But I went the first game, and they looked good playing. And I was like, I think they're going to go to the Super Bowl this year. And that year they went. Oh and I, I didn't God. go to a game after that. And they you just won. made they that up there. right now. No, I, you that, it happened. You just made that no, up I, right it, now. It happened. It seriously happened. This guy. I have the ability to make yeah, things and happen. I went to the Super I'm Bowl too. I'm a facilitator too. of <laughs> trophies, Michael. <laughs> Michael, you're going to get an Oscar in about a year. <laughs> for, yeah, for <laughs> pretending to like your, your life and job. <laughs> All right, circle back. So there's some theories that, um, and I know I'm like, <laughs> we're going to talk about the, like, <laughs> Taylor Swift. Yeah, Taylor Swift. Yeah, let's talk about Taylor Swift conspiracy. I just want, I heard about I these. Just want the Swifty fans. I know, the Swifty fans to just please shit on us. support us, us yeah. please. No, shit on us. Because um, that'll give us something. The whole theory is he's going to propose to her on like the oh, 50 yeah. yard line. Uh-huh. I thought you were talking about the voting thing, like she's suppressing votes or oh. because <laughs> she's swaying the vote or something like that. I thought you were going to get real crazy. There's, there's like a conspiracy out there. Uh, Mia might be able to look this up I, or maybe know more about it, that they think she's actually maybe with the broadcasting or something, veering people to vote a certain way and things like that because what? America watches, the world watches this fucking sport. Yeah, it's huge but- in the UK. Talking about the UK again, <laughs> I guess a lot of people in the UK are Niners fans. Randomly, That's weird. I saw some it's footage. They're when, cheering like, on the Niners when they people won. People are fans outside of the United States. Yeah. Hey, look no, at, no, look, look at football. High yeah, five. I'm a Liverpool yeah. fan, and I guess even now, like I, I literally get so but emotionally like, involved, I and it, I don't live there. When I've I never think been about there. it, football, like soccer, football is like a world sport to me. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, actually, like American football to me, it just is like states. Yeah, and it'll make a. I think in the next few years, you know, uh, here in San Diego, we're getting a team. I'm very happy about it. Me and not so much. I don't. You're kind of indifferent, but you oh, do like the oh, wave. Yeah. Uh, we've all enjoyed going to a wave game before, yeah, so wave, I'm glad that football is here in, in uh, San Diego. But uh, we get in 2026, we get the World Cup here in North America. Oh. So you know it's going to be everywhere: South America, here, and then Canada. That's going to be amazing. Yeah, Drake was even on television recently Ooh. talking to uh, the FIFA. The you know the well, Gio, Gianni is that his name? <laughs> you, you Gianni, the, the head of FIFA. <laughs> The Chiefs will win. Travis will propose, and Taylor will endorse Biden. Uh, That's the thing I heard. The Taylor but Biden. Just, but you know man, what? but knowing that vote for Lano. Okay, let's vote see. Vote for Lano. Um, maybe Mia can help us. What is what was the average uh, viewings of the last few Super Bowls? Because then we can think. Do you you think Taylor Swift being there? How how much? We'll find out how much well, it was. No, it's, no. Like, it's, let's find out how much how how the viewership was on the past few Super Bowls, and we'll guess how many viewers we think are going to watch this year because of Taylor Swift. I don't even know how many viewers. Well, that's what we're saying. We're getting some fact check in here. You, we already know that um, for the past. Well, I've heard that the past couple, like since she started dating him, mm-hmm. the ratings have gone. Oh up, yeah, like huge. Yeah, and I think she even mouthed. They they said she said, like pay attention to somebody else, like mouthing it or something. <laughs> like you, don't you have something better to do? <laughs> oh, it looks like one, one hundred and fifteen million viewers. Kansas City Chiefs victory, Jesus, the last one they did. That's so nuts. Do you think Taylor Swift can substantially jump that up to maybe? A uh, hundred and fifty million, hundred sixty or two hundred well, million. I, I would, I would assume it's going to yeah. be. You think the she biggest has, thing? She has year. that pool probably for sure. Because already crazy. look at people That's like one people like Rosa who never watch it. That mentality for somebody who's never thought about football at all in that yeah. type of way is interested in throwing a Super Bowl party, willing to cheer for a, a player or a team just because of that. They could probably. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see. Yeah, I'm one interested person. to see the circus about it. You know, all the craziness and. Shit I, don't, going I don't. I don't. I don't think. Nothing's gonna happen with a proposal or anything no. like that. But I think it's gonna be huge because yeah. of if he wins, of you her. don't see him bending on a knee. Absolutely like, not. You know? 
I think they've been dating for like six months or less. But their celebrity, celebrity dating is completely different. I don't know, because I've watched their podcast and they're very, and he's very down to earth. Like, like Koya, you think, is he a little, isn't he a little sheltered with it though too? Like, yeah, yeah, they're like, really like uh, but this again, this is like a few hours worth of like watching their podcast, yeah. but I don't know, maybe more power to him if he does. Yeah. Um, I, I like Taylor Swift. Yeah. You like her music. We can talk, you know, the Grammys came up recently. Uh, and do what, I like her music? I think it's it's catchy. It's very yeah. very catchy. Um, yes, Grammy it's pop at its finest. We'd say like, she didn't she win? Yeah, I think she won. Uh, best I don't know. Album, I think it yeah, was. maybe it was best album or something. But, something like that. Oh, okay. So I, I have some. I'm very indifferent about the Grammys. Yeah. Um, I think it's all garbage. Yeah. I think I it's think. it's fake. I think it's who you know. And I'm coming on pretty strong. I apologize. Yeah. Well, you know what? No, I don't fucking apologize. Yeah. I think more most award shows now are just. Uh, it's pat each other on the back for sure. It's it, it's just like and uh, it's it's in the it's in the it's in the facts. Like Killer Mike won best rap album. Yeah, and he had to Stop do it at a presentation shit. before, and he get he got arrested oh, because well, the security guard was like yeah yeah that, that him. was like a, a separate like situation yeah. when he got arrested. But like that to me, don't get me wrong, Killer Mike is. But they didn't show it even on the live broadcast. It was put in like a, a secondary site. Yeah, because they knew what they were gonna. They knew what they were. They were doing. Yeah, it's like they. It's like they like. Uh, all the winners are, are very like, um, watered down. Mm-hmm. Killer Mike, was like honestly a great rapper. I would say underground rapper. Yeah. But like. No, he's big. Yeah. Not, he's a popular. But not now. not like mainstream. Um, what, what, he's had you, a docu series before. That's pretty mainstream. Tell me, tell me a Killer Mike song. I would only think about. The, I only Mike think about off the, his last the album, that one. Jules. I only think about the fucking. But those that wasn't guys. that. But that wasn't yeah, the album. I don't know one. any songs from him. See, yeah, it's yeah. Tell me a Drake album. You know what I'm saying you can oh, name yeah, like yeah, take care. Different. Everything. Exactly. You know, like Drake songs. Yeah, um, I love me some Drizzy, man. Yeah. But that was like a big topic. I was watching some of like the hip hop like podcasts, mm-hmm. and and they were just like baffled. Like it's like a really like because you had it's Travis like Scott, you had like these other larger artists, and then just in general, like some of these. um I think his name's John Batiste. Oh yeah, the dude's good. He's good. Yeah, he's good. But, but he was against. He was against who? Um, I think it was Drake and all these other oh, yeah. like major, huge artists. Yeah. So it just kind of like makes me think like who is actually like artists who win these or, votes? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, who is it? It's the same thing with like the uh, the Oscars and stuff like that. It's like I know it. Me and might be able to check it. Does the Oscars? Is it the fellow people in the? academy of voting for each other so all the actors kind of putting in their votes okay oh. see that, that that makes a little more sense but yeah who's really doing the grammys are they do it by billboard numbers are they doing it by I, just I'm, critical I'm assuming, claim i i have no clue on that one like critics choice award makes more sense because it's a, you literally know it's just a critics voting on it because me and rosa we watched it and it was like it was fucking hard to watch it because it was just so it was cringe mm-hmm. like the whole thing was just very like uncomfortable um the the performances were bad and just who they were giving awards to, like artists I've never heard of. Yeah, and it's just like what? Maybe maybe it's that thing like experience where they're making a deal. These people then, are fucking drinking the Kool Aid, so they're getting oh Academy's voting member. Oh, okay, see, so yeah. you have to earn your way, I guess, to be a certain. Not every actor votes. It was crazy because at at the award show, um, Jay Z won this like Lifetime Award. Um, yeah, and. Crazy! I haven't heard of Jay Z in years. Yeah, but I, you know I've never liked the Jay Z album. I like Jay Z's songs. He literally shit on, oh, the, on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that, which is cool. That, I think yeah. it's kind of cool. It's a little I was, kick I'm in the very ass. Very appreciative of that. And then he had brought up a really great point. He was like, um, "Beyonce yeah. has the most um, album album yeah. wins yeah. in history. And has a one album of the year or something not, like that. That's yeah, not one. Baffles me, dude. So there's got to be something. Maybe she's too powerful. Like some people are too. It's but, just but, corruption. But then, yeah, finest. but they gave Jay Z one, and he's been in, I guess, the game for a long time. Well, he gave him a lifetime award. Yeah, like he. I don't. I doubt he's won. Yeah. He's to me. He's off the radar. He became more of a, a, just a celebrity, like yeah. a Snoop Dogg. Where I think they can ride their music, the past music, for the rest of their life until they die. I, I, I feel like that's like every industry, though. Like FIFA is big on that too. Oh like, yeah. If, um, who gets the World Cup? Like, oh, you, like you think Argentina? Like you think like they didn't deserve to win? If we're who? going back to football. Uh, if Argentina, do you think you think even them winning or like? No, no, no. I think the wins are because clearly they win. Talent. They beat. They beat them. In the- no, no. On talent, I mean, like when they choose the World Cup, like the destination. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like Qatar, for sure. Pocket, and then yeah. again, America, the North America. Yeah, and are uh, are me and my be Are we speeding up years now? Like, isn't it supposed to be every four no. years? When was the last? The last one wasn't four years ago. Two years ago. So they're going. 
No, four no. normally? No, it's four. It's still four. You're thinking, um, I think. I'm not thinking of the Olympics, like and the switching. No, but, but it seems World like, Cup is every four years. But I heard they're going to speed it up. Uh, I haven't heard that. No, I thought they're going to. Like, it seems like it just happened. Didn't yeah, it just yeah. happen? Like, so I think like two years ago. It did, man. That seemed like it was just last year for some yeah. reason. It was on well, the we're TV. Fucking old Lano. I know, fucking <laughs> everything just zooms by. Pan flash. Yeah. Everything just zooms by. Michael, we're not old. Look at how fucking hit the studio is. <laughs> Is it wasn't us. us. It's dinosaur. not our. D- yeah. It's not us. Yeah. And somebody even older than us that's cooler than us. Fucking shit. God damn it. He's going to try to lie yeah. and say it was him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But hey, I think I think it's probably a good time to wrap it up. Yeah, because we wanted to get a quick little one. We wanted to get out the gate. We wanted to kind of show also, you potential. I, I know he's a little opposed, but I, we're also tr- like filling out a new format. Yeah, a new Maybe format, a shorter yeah. format just to. Throw them out there and then see what you guys think. Yeah, I'm a fan of the long format. I've always had been. And here's the thing, not purposefully long. Like when we're flowing and it's going, I feel what we're touching on. Again, we didn't really plan anything. So if we're not planning anything, I don't want to keep running on. Yeah, but and I feel like on. nowadays it's like fast paced, fast paced. Yeah, I said even 15 minutes. I think it's I think it's good. We're at 15 minute mark. But if we can give something and this is kind of like a uh, a a remember us kind of thing. Get it out there because this was a quick setup. I I'm. Very happy in how this looks, how it popped out. Mia helping us, like we got this shit together. I think technically, I know enough stuff. Mia knows a shit ton of stuff. So I don't it know just, Michael shit. sat here. Michael's our placeholder, but it worked out and it looks great. Knowing this now, coming back in, I think we can set it up, have more topics set up, absolutely more things going. We can pop out a thirty-minute one or more, yeah. depending on what it goes on. But I think really to get this touch, we have other stuff going on tonight as well. We don't want to well, stay no, past we, a certain we, point. We haven't, we haven't put one out, and honestly, yeah. I think it's been a month. Yeah, so we just wanted to, to put something out, um, kind of, hey, we're still alive, guys. Yeah, we're still, we're still here. Alive. This but, will be like a little snippet. A lot of people probably would just consume this, be like, oh, you know what? I like that. I would want to see more of that. Yeah. We would like some feedback. That'd be fantastic. People are like, hey, I like the new look. I like the, the vibe. I like everything that's going on, the format. You know, let us know. Uh, we look forward to doing another one. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. And again, thank you again to Mia. Love you to death. Thank Appreciate you so it. We'll catch you guys next time. Have Later. a good one. Peace.